Hey, CJ. What's up? Hey, what's up, Jethro? Some cops are looking for you in the office, man. Tampin. All right, man, I got mm -hmm. it. Nice to see y'all kicking back. Oh. I wonder how your brother's sleeping, curled up next to his shower daddy while you live comfortably on the outside. What y'all want this time? Well, what we want is to get on with our jobs in peace without some damn bleeding heart liberal poking his nose into affairs he won't even understand. The press on you? What the hell would you know about it, boy? Whoa, easy there, Eddie. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. Some young journalist out there is trying to get a name for himself. He doesn't know how the streets work, that he's supposed to report what he's supposed to report. Yeah, anyway, we need you to shut him up for us. And that stoolie, shut him up too. Yeah, there's some reporter who's digging up dirt on Pulaski. We don't know who's talking, but we know the reporter's meeting him today. Take care of him. Oh, this is a nice place, Carl. Bedwoods, north of San Biero. I was talking about with it, but you're right to do it. It ain't natural and a ton of marriage. Look, infatuation and disillusionment is the American way, but it works. Just look at places without professional wrestling and porn out. Like a liberal having his way with you. God makes me feel so dirty. I'm moving swiftly on to my wife. You're on I say, you say, and that's your question. Yeah, this is rad. I'm really into pleasure myself. Good grief! Well, that's my too. But I feel discriminated against. Not only can I not practice my hobby in the privacy of my own garden or car, but my movies are rated as pornographic. I mean, let me ask you a question. Well, that's where our problem started. Yeah. This well, right. I ran a movie with two chicks and a dude, and it's called a porno. People look at me like I'm some sort of creep. But it's natural. But I ran a movie with two dudes and a chick. It's all in French. Probably wins awards. Called an art house love triangle. But it's revolting. No, you're revolting. Get off the airwaves and into therapy, buddy. Oh, that's the problem with men. You're imbeciles. And yet you married me. God, don't rub it in. I
to the booms. Yes, we do. I can't believe you actually recommended to go to Barbados on our honeymoon. It was insulting. They were poor people. I live in fine with to be away from poor people. Barbados is another thing. Look, I want to be very clear. I'm not racist. Just careful. Okay. I like all of Because I paid them. They want them to be there. Or in Mali, when nobody knows what the home is. And the lock will never even turn to pass in search of it. Or the glory holes of the park. There, the glory holes are the theme parks. I can tell you. It's violent, bloody, and authentic. What are you scared of? You wimps! Give me a call! Someone! Please! Hello, you're on Wild Traveler. Where are you? The Bonnet Club. How romantic. I want a job. I know what you mean, jump into the unknown. How can it be a sin if it feels good? Anyway, what's your question? Why am I here? I don't know. Why are you there? Where are you? Kenya? No. I've been burning blood. Loathsome place, I've jumped in. I want to go to hell. Me too. Buy a refrigerator magnet when you get there. On with the show. Any callers? No? Okay, maybe I should hit the travel log again. This is for my diary in Sri Lanka. The services of a young man who has been my guide in pleasure as well as travel. There is something very exotic about him. A female. He could be a boy, but like many locals, in certain lights, he looks just like a little girl. He is a real minx who knows exactly what he is doing to me. Oh, wrong page. Here we go. A green dog took me deep into the jungle. And there we took part in an ancient rite of passage for adolescents on the cusp of the jungle. We hunted each other in game very similar to the ancient games of Kiss Chase I used to be. No! On the page. A green bar has left me. I feel it. I don't have it. But it seems he would rather become a fisherman than follow me in an exotic life of degeneracy and narcotics as my houseboy. I hate myself. Why does this keep happening to me? Hell! Wrong bit again! Where's the page about watching the elephants, mate? And it being really Parties. Hey, has someone been stealing pages out of my journal? My producer is jealous. He keeps stealing my stuff and lending it to people. Last week I had him saying government agents want to look at it. What a little trash. Ah, we have a call, finally. I just want to tell people about a great holiday. You mean vacation? You call it vacation. What is it? Searching for a yeti in the Himalayas? Learning to play an alpine horn? Hunting the pythons in Africa? No, Canada. What about a young man to peel grapes? What about fine local herbs? Hey, it's cheap and it's plentiful. Uh, apart from the rent boy. And what about the food poisoning? What about the starving beggars? What about the political instability and the chance to eat insects? I don't want corn. Have you seen the news lately? Philistine. Well, if you want exotic, you can...
still got a problem with me. Now this ain't just my fault. This is WCTR, committed to bringing you shows like The Wild Traveler, even if we received a cease and desist. It was 9 a.m., the full ray. Commando test eradication. You saw a bug on your child's apple? Go red, boys, we got a live one. Your home, much like the rest of the world, is infested. As honored as I am to share my home with you, we should lure these lizards out into the baking sun. We were followed here. The Da Nang boys are watching this apartment. As soon as we leave, they will attempt an assassination. Hey, what's the big deal? Won't you cruise on out of here, lead them to a place quiet, and cap they flat asses? No offense. None taken. <laughs> we find you funny. Look, long as they think Mr. Farley here is in the back, they'll follow me wherever. After a while, you can come out safely. Simple. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Your success will be rewarded, Mr. Johnson. Days, uh, a recent press conference, your manager came to your defense. A lot of people say gangster rap is misogynistic posturing by fake ass idiots who spend more time in drama school than they ever did pimping or hustling dope. Well, I assure you, OG Loke is the real thing. He's hated women all his life. He sold drugs to school children. He's murdered innocent people just for kicks. But he rhymes like an angel. And I assure you, it's all in a good cause. So either way, you can feel good about yourself listening to this music. Well, that was very informative. Big Smoke is doing a lot for the community, or to it. He sounds like a great guy. So, I want to get in on this rap thing. Do I have to break dance, you know, do the windmill? Hey, can you body pump? Come on, Laszlo. You know OG ain't no playboy. I ain't down with that shit. It ain't gangster. I walk the walk. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Fresh. Yo, I'm, I'm down. <laughs> I'm into walking, too, but I was thinking maybe we could have a break-off, you know? I could spin on my back. You being funny? I'm trying to be. Watch it, I won't. I got the street. I got a rap. Me and my man Smoke, we took over. I've been gangbanging since I was three. Ice cold killer. <laughs> Excuse me? Gangbanging? <laughs> I never understood that. I mean, other guys in the room are like, ugh. I'm ice cold, bitch. Don't make me dump with you, G. I'm the streets, man. I am gangster. I'm taking rap in a whole new direction. From now, it's about making words rhyme. And I'm going toe-to-toe -to -toe with you in a minute. Why do you rappers 
get so worked up. You're rich. You've won. Stop shooting at each other. You know, and you keep saying, home from the streets. But you know what, dude? Everyone has a street in front of their house. That doesn't make you cool. Oh, we got a comedian, huh? If you got scraps, come, bitch, and do that. If you walk ass, bitch, come on, trip, bust a fool. I don't, I don't know what you said, but uh, hey, this ought to calm you down. I brought you some malt liquor. You's a bust a fool. Lucky I don't hang you out the window or turn you out, because I'm also a pimp. Including you, I'll pimp anything. You hear me? No. Oh, dude, I hear you loud and clear, man. You will pimp anything. Listen, how many hot women need a man? Because, I mean, it's kind of been a dream of mine to sleep with housewives. Are you dissing my hoes, bitch? No, 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 no dude. Uh, your hoes are bitches. Your hoes are bitches. You a buster. What are you? I, I, I'm a buster. I'm a buster. Wh whatever that is. Dude, dude put, put the gun away. Don't diss my scrap. I love your scrap. You're a great guy. Look, I'm, I'm just coming down off the 80s. I'm Relax, fool. No one's getting jumped on. I'm a warrior poet. I tell a woman and tell about life on the street, you know? Only too well. That was OG Logan. Hey, man, it's been a real pleasure. Straight, yeah. Good luck with the music. We need to make a killing. We'll see you next time. You don't get to take some callers like I want. WCTR wasn't holding me back. And this has been Entertaining America with Laszlo. Peace and chicken grease. So that's how you're going to be entertained. Deal with your ignorance in one minute flat. Complex issues in 60 seconds. WCTR. If only the world was less like this. I could use a smoke. Hey, put that out. And more like this. I could use a smoke. You murderer! I might have children one day! Smoking kills, unless you kill first. If you're around a smoker, you will die. Smokers may look relaxed and like they're having fun. Don't believe it. Vote yes on Proposition 421. Let's outlaw smoking everywhere, even in people's homes, and allow honest citizens to legally kill anyone who smokes. Let's live in a world without smokers. Prohibition works. Let's prove it. Let's move up the food chain. It's time to smoke the smokers. Vote yes on Proposition 421. Let's go find out what's really happening in the world. News. <laughs> I'm Leanne Fourchet, WCTR News. We distort, you can't retort. Breaking news. Is skateboarding turning your son gay? Also, San Fierro has been hit by one-tenth scale chaos recently following a series of many terrorist attacks. Tiny techno-terrorists are suspected. More on that story as it comes in. A district attorney is facing a long jail sentence after he was arrested outside the Bankoff Hotel trying to escape with well over a ton of marijuana. Police are currently investigating claims it was for personal use. Staying with pot, police are celebrating the destruction of a major hall of marijuana in Flint County recently. Unfortunately, the huge fire caused problems for local wildlife, much of which was found eating chocolate, listening to the same band over and over, and buying fractal artwork. Richard Burns is on the scene. Johnson, it's Guppy, are you okay? And more positive news came yeah, it's nothing. They took the bait like morons. Today unveiled his new Mr. Ramfire Lee, get out all right? Yes, yeah, Schmoozie is taking him to safety. Thank you. Cool. I'll see you later, man. It's decoy! Back to Chinatown!
the tight end zone is next. Brought to you by Lager Beer and Redwood Cigarettes. A game just isn't a game if you're not drunk and coughing.